for us this morning. Thank you very much. Democratic Congressman Steny Hoyer of Maryland is the House Minority Whip. Congressman Hoyer, good morning. Good morning, David. So deal or no deal, how's it going to go down? Well, there's no deal yet, unfortunately. And, uh, uh, you know, we have a history, a pattern of the Republicans taking control uh, and shutting down as they did in 95. It hasn't happened since then, uh, even when we had significant disagreements between George Bush and the Democratic Congress. Uh, uh, that's not an alternative that we ought to be taking. Uh, I think we're very close. I think we've come 70 percent of the way in terms of dollars. Uh, that's a long way to go in, in trying to reach compromise. Uh, now, of course, as the president has pointed out and Harry Reid pointed out, uh, there are some social issues uh, which the Republicans are demanding and holding and, hostage the government. And Congress my understanding the is those. the real focus is on those issues, like limiting funding for Planned Parenthood. How does that get resolved, and does that ultimately derail any potential compromise? Well, I think the president has clearly indicated, as George Bush did his predecessor, uh, that uh, he would not sign bills that uh, were contrary to the policies that he believed the American public elected him uh, to carry out. After all, uh, he was elected overwhelmingly as president of the United States. Uh, the Republicans have taken one-third of the government, the, uh, the House of Representatives. When, that, when we were in uh, charge of the House and we had disagreements with George Bush, we compromised. We kept the government open. We understood that the president uh, uh, could veto. Uh, and I would hope the Republicans would make that same understanding. After all, this debate began about bringing down deficits, about bringing down numbers and cutting spending. We have done that. And as I say, we've come 70 percent of the way. Uh, I think that the, uh, the agreement on numbers is close, and we ought to make those agreements on numbers. And as Governor Daniels said of Indiana, we ought to fight the social issues on another bill. Congressman, you know it takes two sides to shut down a government. Aren't you embarrassed by all this? I am embarrassed by it. I think uh, I'm not sure it takes two sides. It takes one side that is prepared to demand 100 percent, and if the other side doesn't lay down and, and totally give up, uh, then they'll shut down the government. They know we don't want to shut down the government, so they think they can hold hostage uh, things that we certainly don't agree with, uh, but that we will cave uh, to keep the well, government but you, running, you, you talk, which we want to do. You talk about compromise. Look at the findings of our NBC News Wall Street Journal poll in terms of who would get the blame. Uh, Republicans certainly a lot more than Democrats. And I wonder, uh, as a Democratic leader, whether part of the strategy here is to cast Republicans as extremists and ultimately get a lot more uh, of a winning political hand for the Democrats through this process. David, I think the Republicans are doing that to themselves, very frankly. I don't think we have to cast them uh, in that light. They're casting themselves in that light with the Tea Party uh, coming to town and demanding that uh, they either get 100 percent or shut down the government. Right. Last night, uh, uh, the founder of the uh, uh, Tea Party, uh, one of the Tea Parties, uh, said if uh, Boehner came out with $99 billion, that would not be enough. $100 billion was what they wanted and nothing less. Uh, you can't negotiate uh, in a democratic society on the basis that one side gets 100 percent, the other side gets zero. Just that doesn't a few, work. Just a few seconds less, Congressman. Should you get paid if there's a government shutdown? Well, I think that probably we ought not to get paid. Of course, the Constitution says you can't have your salary diminished so that people can't threaten one another for votes on that basis. But the fact of the matter is we should not shut government. Uh, we should keep government uh, going, not just for the federal employees, David, but for the millions and millions of businesses, people's families that will be adversely affected and the hit that the economy will take by shutting down government. This is not a good strategy. Taking us to the brink uh, like this is not appropriate. Uh, particularly when we have agreed, the president has agreed, come 70 percent of the way towards what the Republican position was on cutting spending. All right, we'll leave it there. We'll be watching. Congressman Hoyer, thank you very much. Thank you, David. 708 now.